Well, the brat beat me to the gate this morning. Morning, Sapphire. Oh, cowboy. Be nice. You don't have to butt her in the frickin' throat. She didn't deserve a throat punch. No, she didn't. Good morning. Yeah. Her ear hair is crazy. You come here. You're not? You're mad at me because I scolded you for giving her a throat punch? Children. Well, hey, if you haven't noticed it, yesterday was a two for Tuesday. Mom decided last night, I want to go out and see the cows. I need somebody to open the gate for me. I was getting ready to get in the shower. No big deal. And Becky says, well, I'm making dinner. You go to, all right, fine. Do what you got to do anyway. So I went out, opened the gate. I didn't know if she wanted to go out by herself or wanted me to go with her or what. I said to open the double wires there by the feet barn. And she goes through it. I had the bike parked on the other side of the metal gate. She said, aren't you going with me? Well, I can't. I didn't know if you wanted me to or not. Well, I'd like some company. So, there's a video of it. I don't know how many more times she's going to be able to do that. You know, things have changed a lot in the last month. Um, her outing here a while back down to Albany. Good morning, Ruby. Um, pretty much wiped her out for day, day and a half anyway. Um, she had a I don't know what the heck. She had some kind of scan scheduled here a week ago and she didn't feel good enough that day to be able to make the trip into town and do it so she canceled it. <coughs> Excuse me. She actually had an MRI scheduled for yesterday. And, you know, yesterday morning she called Becky and she says, there's just no way. I mean, if I make it in there, because, you know, no matter what you do, even if you get one of them hospital wheelchairs, you still got to walk at some point. And she just says, there's, there's no way I'm going to have enough in me to do it. Now, if she had done that, she wouldn't have had any go to go check cows. I guarantee it. She just spent most of the rest of the day in bed trying to sleep or sleeping. So anyway, for those of you who have already been there and made your comments, and even those that watched and just liked the video, thank you. It's much appreciated. I think it ran a little slow overnight. It happens once in a while. You know, it's not like you got a exact set. I got a couple of sharpie marks on there and line them up and eh, I fully expected it to be halfway between the reel and where the carriage is right now. Oh well. Life in a fast lane. Last move there. I was telling mom last night that was the last move up there and then Debating on let the cows into that piece. I mean, they got to get off where they're at. They've been on their way too long. You know, they had a few day break, but you know, get them out of there. She was surprised they were still finding stuff to eat there. It's like, oh, it, it's there. It's just dried up, most of it. There's a little green. Be a little easier on those older cows to get them where there's actually some green grass. And of course, we got some fence deficiencies over there too. That whole line clear through should have been replaced five, six years ago, but money and time. 
And uh, I don't know that I mentioned it in last night's regular video. Ty went looking for that oil pan. <laughs> and see the mark I saw when I came back that had me concerned. And there's another mark right on the edge about right there. She didn't find it when she went down the road, but she came back and she stopped to get the mail. And she thought, I'm going to go back and look. She found it underneath the edge of the bushes over there, unscathed. Surprised I didn't run it over. I mean, I would have hurt if I did, but anyway, um, little, little smoke haze along the hills to clear it up from what it was. See a little pocket of it right in there. I don't know how much of that smokes from a couple of fires that were around here the last few days or how much is from east, but. I also see somebody's coming because she wants a ride, so I better accommodate her. Look at the hitchhiker I found. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm cute. Oh, yes, you are. Wait, wait, it gets better. It gets better. Future gate opener. Future? Heck, she can open the gates now. She just can't no, reach them. No. Yeah, I know she wants a ride. She Here, can, can we walk gonna... down? Will let Bampa take the paper in and we'll walk back down to him? And look at you right to see the hey, moon. that'll that'll work. That way, I don't have paper in my way. Okay. Okay. Race ya. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait up, my little legs, my little legs. Better watch where I'm going. She got her ride to here, but Tom and Jerry are right there. So Ty got off the bike, wanted to take a picture of them. And she wanted off. So she... Oh, Ty's going to get another picture. Oh, look at this ham. Until she starts running. You little ham bone. Anyway, she walked right down here where Rainy is, grabbed the gate, leaned through it, and was looking at the calves, and made her way across, talking to Tom and Jerry. And going, hi. Hi. She says hi real softly. And then I told her, hi, babies. So she stuck her arm in, in as far as she could, right where Ty's at, look at that upright, and waved to Tom and Jerry. Pretty cool, I think. She's getting it figured out. And she's got it figured out. She's not supposed to go in there. So not without somebody. And she's telling them hi again. I know you can't hear it, but she'll scream about anything else, but. Yeah, so? Tom's my yellow have Kind of looks like you will. You might not. You never know. Anyway, teach her to love and appreciate the critters. <laughs> and she's doing a good job of that all on her own. Come on, child. Hey, you want to ride with Bampa? Another day. I haven't got much video yet, but that traveler's finally moved. Little traveler's below the feed barn. It'll be in within an hour. And Becky decided that we're dragging her brother with us to go for a drive. She found a couch. And I don't know what's in my mother's pickup. I mean, it won't fit in my pickup. It's a canopy on it. And I don't know what's in my mother's pickup for tie downs. So, come and grab them out of mine. I think there's something in hers. I just don't remember what. And probably have to get this stuff moved. If I can get that out, I think we're going to go ahead and pull it out and run it. Run that one and another little one together for a little bit while I work on the big one. That's my plan anyway. We'll see how that goes. Hey, sorry, but I, sh I should fix that one of these days. Right? And Becky's busy texting me, chomping up a bit. Where are you? Where are you? So, yeah, it's only about 88 degrees so far. Of course, it's 1 o'clock. Got a little time to warm up. 
and it is very hazy. So, but no, all I've done is mess with frickin' irrigation and end up helping Becky's brother in the house a little bit, help babysit Blakely some. Yeah, ain't got anything of my own stuff done. Nothing new. Either way, I still gotta get done. And Becky was gone this morning. She gotta take a friend into the doctor. And hospice ended up coming today to see mom. Gal apologized. She was on vacation last week and then ended up not getting back in time Monday to keep the appointment. And everything checked out about the same as it's been, so. Status quo, right? Hey, beans were driving by it. Here's your black spot. And uh, <laughs> I, I think it was from a combine. We saw them working on it up here in maybe their barnyard the other day. But, but we just went to McMinnville to pick up a couch and come back here. And what do we see? They had just broken the rear axle on the combine right when we come by earlier. He was standing there leaning against the back of the combine looking at it like, what did I do? But he's got two freaking parts machines over here in there. He should have just let it owner. throw in the fire. So, you know, it's not like he doesn't have the parts to fix it. You should have and, and Becky it. says, you should call him and tell him that you got a machine to sell him. Well, I'd do that, but if I called the man, I'd never get him off the phone until Maybe my battery died. Him. And then when he realized I wasn't there, he'd call the house phone and make it ring until somebody answered. So, anyway, thought that was kind of interesting. Been a long time since I've seen a rear axle break and it was one of ours. I ain't never seen them break on a red one, but I know it happens. Well, here's why we took a trip. Pretty fancy. Actually very comfortable too. Dr. Recline on both ends. The, the, that's the middle one. The end ones actually have, uh, they're upside down, but the headrest has an adjustment too. It's replacing that one. That one was old when I was a kid. It's a height of it. It's gotten to the point where it's very uncomfortable as a couch, and it's very uncomfortable as a height of bed. And... That new one's heavy, and a lot longer than this one. This one's a lot heavier. It's not like the new head of beds that are light. And those stinking little bugs. We got back here and Becky's brother left his windows open in the pickup and he just left. I told him, roll your back windows down too. But you can see them on there or not. I mean, they're, everything's covered, solid. Yeah, we look like we made it to 92 degrees today. So, anyway, tomorrow's supposed to be hotter, they say. We'll find out. So, with that, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all had a great hump day. We'll see what Thursday brings. And, I mean, even inside of the house, freaking solid. And yeah, Becky's brother. We got so many Scots around. His name's Scott, too, by the way. So, like, Cousin Scott and everybody else. Um, told him to bite. <laughs> he got bit. They bite. And that's enough. Back in here where it's cool and there's not as many bugs.